and welcome to the Foundry. Thank you very much for joining us tonight for our secret announcement that is no longer secret because we announced it at four o'clock today, but we just couldn't hold back and had to let you know at 4 p.m. today. So if you want to interact with us tonight, we are taking questions. We'd love to know where you're watching from. Please use hashtag TF News. And we will be having a section at the end of this show um, for Q&A with our guest speakers and various people from various parts of the company. So I just wanted to read out a couple of tweets because we had some very amusing ones. Sorry, this is Christopher. I'll introduce him in a moment. Nice shirt, Christopher. Thank you, nice shirt as well. <laughs> Everyone at the foundry wears a yeah, white sure. shirt. <laughs> yeah, yeah <that's> <laughs> very. Um, I just did want to read out some tweets because last week when we put our viral video out on Friday, it caused quite a buzz on Twitter and some of them were hilarious. And there's one that was our absolute favorite from Brendan Rathbone. Are you guys releasing a software suite to turn animations into real life? Aha take on me style video. We should really talk to the yeah. research team about this, shouldn't <laughs> we? That would be absolutely amazing. Could you imagine? That would be just totally wild. I think it's possible. You never know with our brains upstairs. They're pretty good. Also, a very clever clogs person um, at Doylemat on November the 9th, a couple of days ahead, got it right. You actually posted up about us acquiring Mischief. So for you, Mr. At Doyle Matt, um, and I hope you're a mister if you're a lady, for you lady, you win a license for free. Congratulations. So we'll need your details. So ping us a note via Twitter and we'll get one out to you. So Christopher. Yes. We made this announcement at four o'clock today. What is Made With Mischief? So the announcement was we acquired a company by the name of Made With Mischief, and the product is called Mischief, mm -hmm. and it's um, an amazing sketching, drawing, and ideation tool. Mm -hmm. And uh, what makes it kind of special and different is it's got an infinite canvas. So think of Tom Cruise Minority Report, where he just kind of waves his hands, and uh, you know, and the screen moves. So you can draw on it, you can move it over, keep drawing, and uh, it's just kind of an infinite canvas. But it's also vector-based, so it has infinite definition. So you can keep zooming. You can draw like an eagle and then zoom in his eye and draw something totally different as well. Oh, really and, cool. and the file format's really small, which is great. So it's kind of the holy grail of sketching apps where it does a little awesome. bit of everything. Awesome. So Christopher, why did we do this? So the, the why is because uh -huh. we've always had ambitions to create tools for the creative masses. Mm -hmm. That's something we've always wanted to do. And we've got a lot of great tech internally. Mm -hmm. But when we kind of met Sarah, Sarah Friskin, you'll meet her shortly. We met Sarah and we saw the brand she created with Made With Mischief. Mm -hmm. And we saw the tool itself. We knew that was kind of the right foundation to do it with. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just the tool has an amazing feel to it. So when you sketch on it, it's almost like you're sketching on paper itself. Yeah. And so kind of the brand, the product, Sarah, it all kind of came together as kind of the foundation of doing something very special with. That's awesome. And I've actually had a go and it's it's super easy, super intuitive. It was amazing fun. You should get your mitts on it. Um, so there's going to be people watching at home who are very, very familiar or at work, um, who are very familiar with what we do here at the Foundry. How is this different to what people would be familiar with? Um, with what the Foundry does? How's sure. this different? So the Foundry is really proud of creating great tools for uh, design, for games, for visual effects. But uh, this company will be a separate company than the Foundry, so the Foundry, and we'll also have Made With Mischief. And this company will focus on creating uh, tools and products for the broader creative masses. Mm -hmm. So just a broader audience. And it's gonna be, as I said, separate. So I have separate engineering, mm -hmm. separate tech support, separate marketing. Mm -hmm. And uh, the reason is, is because it needs to think differently because yeah. it's got a different audience. Yeah. It's much broader creative audience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it definitely feels like it's um, making it more accessible to the masses of creative people out there, which is really yeah. cool and really, really exciting. So may everyone knows now, Made With Mischief, what can they get today, right now, November the 13th, 2014? Okay, so the product, as of three hours ago, is available in the Mac App Store. Mm -hmm. So it's the first tool the Foundry has ever had in the Mac it's App really Store. Cool. Really and so there's a free version of it, completely free, 
costs no money. And uh, it's got a limited, <laughs> uh, limited brushes. <laughs> I know you love free. It's got <laughs> limited brushes, limited color palette, but it's uh, it's completely free. And along with that, we have a uh, a full version of it, which is twenty five dollars. Yeah. And it's a perpetual license, so you pay for it once and you have it forever. And uh, and so um, it's it's awesome. It's out there, all there to be had, and Wonderful. the first foundry product. On Wonderful. The so, what are the plans? The future plan? What do you see this in the future with this particular product? So today it's it's an it's an awesome sketching drawing ideation app with an amazing feel to it. Uh, in the future, it's going to be uh, much more social, and uh, and just kind of encourage people to kind of share ideas, share emotion, and mm -hmm. create together. Cool. So uh, plus we'll have other products we're going to uh, bring in uh, mm -hmm. through internal development or through acquisition mm -hmm. into this kind of consumer facing brand. So it's really exciting. Very exciting. Very very exciting. So, Christopher, I forgot to mention, this was my bad because I was just too excited. Um, Christopher is the Chief Sales and Marketing Officer at the Foundry, but he also is the President of Mischief. Now, that is a job title. President of Mischief? President of Mischief. Yeah. It just sounds really, I don't know. Presidential? <laughs> no, just really like you're the President of Mischievous Things. <laughs> <laughs> so, actually, on your mischiev mischievous mission... You have a team of people, right, mm -hmm. that I'm going to introduce and we're going to bounce over and have a chat with them as well in a minute. Do you want to say something quickly about, you know, who your team is, how they came to be? So um, the acquisition actually happened on June 3rd. My and birthday. And June 3rd is Bex's birthday. birthday. So we planned it for <laughs> Bex's birthday along with her gift. <laughs> and so... Um, the reason why we couldn't talk about it is because we had to build a team to kind of do all mm -hmm. of these great things we accomplished over the last uh, couple of months. Because along with uh, the product being available today, um, it's also a new release. And so yeah. there's a lot of amazing features in it and a new sleek interface to it. And all that took a lot of work. So yeah. we had to like yeah. build an engineering team and we had to do all these things. So so we've, it's been really hard to keep this under wraps. We want to right? talk about it. So, <laughs> so June 3rd, it happened. And we haven't been able to talk about it the whole time, which has been really difficult. That's quite a few months, so, right? yes. <laughs> So uh, five months to be exact, but, <laughs> but who's counting? So, so people on the team though is, is first and foremost is our inspirational leader. It's uh, Sarah Friskin, mm -hmm. who is going to guide us along yeah. and making sure that we stay honest to ourselves and that we keep the artist first and make sure the tool doesn't lose that amazing feel. Yeah. Because the tool has got this tech behind it called adaptive distance fields, mm -hmm. and um, Sarah has been one of the founders for it, and so she's just a foremost expert in the world on it, and so she's going to keep us keep us honest. So uh, along with that as well, we also have Chris Chung who's yes. come on board. Mr. Chris Chung. And so Chris Chung is going to be leading Made with Mischief as being the head of Mischief, another great That's title. That's another great job title. <laughs> and uh, and so Chris is uh, I don't know if anybody if you know him out there um, he's quite famous for for leading Sketchbook Pro and taking Sketchbook to the uh, uh, to the iPad and just doing great things with uh, mobile and creative apps and so we're really honored to kind of have Chris uh, mm -hmm. working here with us and uh, in addition to that uh, he uh, lived in Toronto and he was quite happy and mm. we were able to convince him to, to come here yep, to London to move to London with his son and daughter and it's wife amazing. you know sell their home do everything just move to London to follow the dream. And so uh, I'm honored and humbled that, uh, that Chris has done this. You know, no. he's awesome. I can't he say is, enough great things about no, him. He's wicked. He's absolutely yeah. wicked. He's much cooler than I am. I don't know. You're pretty cool. Uh, We've uh, got yeah. great taste. Look at us in our yeah. white shirts. We look great. Like <laughs> <laughs> so, and then also... Also at the table as well, we've got um, Mike Pettesi, yeah. who's an amazing artist. And yeah. He's showing some of his works here and what he's, what he's doing. So. Awesome, awesome. Sorry, I'm getting hair in my, in my lips. Excuse me. Yeah, me too. Oh, God, it's kind of hot in here, isn't it? Um, okay, Christopher, thank you very much. I'm going to call you back okay, you for some Q&A. You can get off the box now? Yeah, actually, I should let you know. <laughs> that's how tall I really am. <laughs> So it wouldn't have worked. So I had to, so I had to stand on a box. So, yeah, thanks for outing that. Okay, I'm just going to take you this way. We've got some artists here behind me, Carly and DC. We'll come and have a chat with them in a little bit and see what they're up to. And I'm just going to bounce over into our little cozy area with the people from Mischief. So, bouncing over, right across the camera. God, it's professional, isn't it? That was <laughs> <transition>. <laughs> really good transition. So, Chris... 
it's Chris, who came all the way from Toronto, head of Miss G. London, Chris. London, Chris, now, forgive me, sorry. We've got Sarah, all the way from Boston. You were very happy earlier because I was wearing a Red Sox mm, t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> We've also got Mike as well, who's going to be doing some live drawing and okay. sketching as well, and just showing the UI and the loveliness of Miss G. So I'm going to bounce back to these guys for a Q&A session in a little while. So I'm going to pop it over to you, and I'll be back soon. I'll take over. Thank you. <laughs> so thanks for everyone to join us uh, on this announcement, on this great day, on this day where we finally can talk about Sarah's work going mainstream, allowing us to reach <coughs> new customers. Uh, one of the things um, that many of uh, my friends out there know is I really love art, I love software, I love drawing software, and meeting Sarah and a lot of the artists who swear by Mischief has been an incredible journey, meaning being able to find something that has this chemistry, this uniqueness uh, among all the other drawing applications is something you know very special and it's something that I feel is really important uh, in terms of the things that I want to do. Um, before we talk about some of the technology that makes it special, I, I really want, wanted Sarah to have a chance to kind of share her inspiring story about how technology that originally had nothing to do with a drawing application, how that became something that you know, was so close to you know, what she was interest, interested in as a child, art. How did that happen? What happened, magic, that brought you to this? Well, as you know, Chris, I've been working on this technology uh, for many years, more than 15 years, and uh, started in the 3D space and did some work in 2D. Uh, but about six years ago, a, a colleague in, of mine w who was working at Disney Research contacted me because they had this problem that they, they wanted to go to the point where the artist could use digital tools for drawing because it was more practical, but the artists just didn't like the feel. Resistant. Yeah, I mean, it, it was much harder to do with digital. It was slower. They didn't like the quality of the line. And so I was a researcher at the time, and he asked if I would come and, and kind of look at this problem. And so I spent uh, two years just looking at, looking at a way of taking some of the work that we'd be done before and converting it into a representation for strokes. And the whole focus was to get a line quality and a responsiveness of the pencil so that artists would like it. And, and that was kind of the beginning of Mischief. After that, we developed um, an application based on that technology. And one of the things that, that you'll be seeing, because we have these guest artists, is the only way to really understand the difference is, is really to see people using it, to see it in action. So um, it, you have had so many artists influence you, that project influence you, and you've worked with some great artists. That was a really classic time. You met some amazing... Yeah, it was really wonderful. I mean, just even going and speaking to people at Disney was excited. We had wonderful artists there try it. We had Glenn Keane tried it and Andreas Deja tried That's it. Incredible. And, awesome. and then once we got uh, the product out in the market, we had people like Mike kind of find out about it mm -hmm. somehow and uh, write email and, and kind of support the whole the whole venture, so it's it's been a really wonderful experience. So that alone, that leap from from you going from research, mm. working with these artists to decide to make a business, I mean, that totally just describes everything that I know about you, the commitment to this project. Was that hard? Yeah, I mean, I, I quit my job and I um, kind of took a couple years off and, and worked with uh, Ron Perry, who's been consulting with me for a long time and uh, took the leap and but it was clear that if I that that first of all that people liked it and that it added something that people didn't have in other tools but the second thing was that if I didn't do anything I didn't think anybody would and I wanted to get it out there for people so they could try it and, and see what they whether they could do something with it well you've proven that and <laughs> we're happy you did <laughs> yes <laughs> and there's so much I mean the beginning of, of we know what we launched today and where we're going to go, as, as Christopher was mentioning, is really exciting. Um, but I still am amazed by where the technology started. And I do think you should share just okay. a bit about it, that. Well, well, I guess it was it's so kind of a funny story. I mean, we or started, it was related. <laughs> that was way back in, in the late 90s. I was working on a surgical simulation system, and we were actually building a model of the human knee. 
and the representations triangle models didn't work because it only gave you the surface and volume models were too heavy and so we developed this new technology called adaptively sampled distance fields which gave us really nice sh shape representation and so we used it it's been used for that project it was used for doing uh, milling simulation and then more recently in some 2D representations for, for rendering fonts. So for example, the fonts in Adobe Flash are, are based on the same technology and, and also the fonts in, uh, on the Amazon Kindle, for example. So, and then, and then since then, this drawing program. So it's a really interesting technology and it's so kind cool. of been it's all over the place. So. It's mind boggling how mm -hmm. it's stretched and, and evolved. Um, yeah, let's take it, this opportunity to meet some of the artists that we have here and kind of find out um, what they're doing. Yeah, we're just trying to get a camera off a tripod. <laughs> I love it. Live TV. It's great. <laughs> Hello. So I've got Carly here. And Carly, do you want to get around Ash so you can have a look at what she's drawing? A bit tight and comfortable here. So Carly, you have been using Mischief now for six years, correct? Yeah. And... Um, I wanted to ask you, what what are your thoughts and feelings about what's happened today, um, and what you think? What's what are you excited about? Are you excited about what's happened today? What you think hopeful for the future? Yeah, I mean, uh, mischief has come a long way. I've been wi working with mischief since black and white. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I mean, the colors uh, are very vibrant in mischief, and mm -hmm. it's just completely different than it was. Um, years ago, so mm -hmm. it's just amazing how far it's come. Awesome, and um, I mean, you've been working on this little, this piece for uh, about an hour, yeah. an hour, and I watched you while you were starting it, and it's, I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous, and the colors are, the colors are amazing, and I must admit, I found that earlier when I was playing with it, and I mean, it's been a while since I've picked up a pen and <laughs> paper, metaphorically, to draw, and I couldn't believe it, it really, really is cool. So. You helped Sarah, is that correct, with the development of this? Right, yeah, I gave her some feedback um, as far as, I mean, she got feedback from a lot of artists, but mm -hmm. I tried to um, give her some feedback as far as what um, artists were really looking for in digital painting and drawing software mm -hmm. from my um, limited perspective. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hardly. So you can zoom in and just go right in and you can even create something in that world within that eye it just like forever and ever, it's like pretty cosmic, isn't it? Now this is really, really beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much because you've been busy all day with us. So thank you. Thank, thank you. you heaps, Carly. I'm just going to bounce around to DC who appears to have hurt his hand. Yeah. Oh no. So you um, have created, sorry, we're trying to get like all the spaces in. So. You created a book using it mischief entirely. Why did you choose mischief as a tool and not something else? Well, not so much entirely. Um, I, I was going to, yeah, shocking. What? Shocking. Uh, I was going to use uh, uh, a bunch of other stuff like Illustrator and things yeah, that are a yeah. bit more established, but um, I'd been messing with mischief for a few sort of months and I just couldn't get the kind of lines that I wanted in Illustrator, yeah. not even close. And mm. if I did, it would take hours and I'd have to do a bunch of cleanup. And then I sort of just decided, I popped mischief open and thought, see, you know, see if I can do this kind of clean line work. Yeah. And it worked first time. Mm -hmm. Every single line is exactly how I want it to be. Mm. It's really fast. It's like drawing on paper. So yeah, it, really it was kind yeah. of a no-brainer, really. Yeah, I just yeah, sort yeah. of... So, yeah, I, I drew all the characters and then... Uh, do you want to plug the book? Come I'm, on, let's do it. I'm going to plug the let's book. Let's plug the book. It's Tim Minchin Storm, <laughs> available in all fine bookstores. And, and the... Online? Can, um, you, can you get it on, online? Yeah, it's in Amazon. We've got friends. We've got, okay, brilliant, yeah. brilliant, brilliant. Yeah. Love yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> Shameless plug. No, it's <laughs> wonderful. So how do you feel about what's happened today? I think it's awesome. Yeah. Um, it's, it's very strange that, um, I mean, I, I got in touch with Chris because I, I was surprised that more people didn't know about mm. it. And all of, all of my artists and animator friends that I'd sent it to were, were just sort of ecstatic and yeah. relieved that they could actually draw as if it's on paper. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of, uh, it's interesting that this was all in the works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, he didn't yeah. tell me any of it. He's yeah, very, of course not. He's very secretive. Secret, secret. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm an art school graduate, so, I mean, and I haven't drawn for ages, and just to be able to play earlier yeah. was just, and it was just so easy, it was so easy, and I'm not saying that in like a bomby, cheesy <laughs> kind of way, 
but it really, really was. Yeah. It was so intuitive. It was incredible. It's nice. I mean, it just gets out of the way, which yeah, is, I know. Yeah. you know, it's. And it's you can make books. I can make books, and I'm going to make more. <laughs> can make more books. <laughs> awesome. Right, we'll pop back, back to you. Others. We'll be back to pop to you in a little while. So I'm going to ping you back over to the people on the couch. I think a lot of you out there are probably familiar with this series of books, Drawing Force. Um, so that's why Mike McKenzie's name is so familiar. He's the author of this book. He's a, an instructor. He's you know this guy's got, this guy gets around. Um, we're so <laughs> glad to have all the artists here. Um, but once again, I met Mike through a phone conversation talking about why uh, he used Mischief and what he liked about it and among his tool set. And um, thanks so much for coming. Yeah, thank you for having me. Thank you, Sarah, <laughs> for making this. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, uh, I found Mischief about a year ago on uh, Facebook. And I'm always looking for new software because one of my frustrations is not being able to control my digital drawing experience as well as I can um, my drawing experience on paper. Uh, so, you know, I found it on, like I said, on Facebook and immediately downloaded the free trial and was just blown away by how um, the experience felt, the ta you know, the tactileness of it, which is so important to me. Those of you that have the books will know that, you know, I'm really a line guy and line is really important. And, the whole foundation to how I teach is based online. So, uh, so I was like, oh my God, here's a digital you know, software drawing program that I can actually use and stay in this space instead of having to draw on traditional and scan or photograph and have to go through that process. So, One of the things that I thought was really cool we talked about, and I mean, obviously it's the responsiveness, mm -hmm. the fact that it feels authentic. Yeah. Uh, but I thought what was really interesting was one of the things we talked about was the fact that it's kind of boundless. And that has kind of pros and cons, right? Right. I mean, one, it's like completely freeing that you don't ever have to flip a page or start, a, a, you know, a new document. Right. Um, and I think that's kind of the amazing balance that Mischief has. If, yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, to your point, it, it's kind of interesting to me at an abstract level. I think what you guys did this awesome job with is uh, the boundlessness um, concept, based on how that relates to creativity. Uh, relative to how the software is working, which is an infinite, uh, almost cube of space, mm -hmm. because you have X and Y boundlessness, and you also have Z boundlessness. So it's almost like, I don't know, I love thinking about things in some other crazy <laughs> manner. And I, it, it is like drawing in a three-dimensional space because of the infinity that you have in all directions. Mm -hmm. so, so I was going to show you guys real quick um, uh, how mischief works. Uh, why I love it so much, uh, in, you know, relative to drawing with pencil and paper. Uh, so just to give you a demo of force, basically, really fast here. First of all, you can see these doodles here on the bottom left, which I did while we were in this, um, this video. Um, and these are the three books that I've written that are on the top left. You'll see there's the first figure drawing book, the animal drawing book, uh, character design book. I'm trying to build my own empire here. <laughs> more to come, right? I'm working on it. Yeah. Uh, and then there's a force anatomy book that is coming out next year. Uh, and then, believe it or not, everyone, uh, the first book, uh, its 10th anniversary is right around the corner. So I will be working on a 10th uh, anniversary edition, and there's some really fun special prizes that will be uh, coming along with that. So to get into Force real quick here, uh, you know, line is really important. And, you know, the fact that I can do this, and it's actually doing exactly what I want it to do. First of all, it was so impactful to me. I was like, I know it just looks like a line right now. But I'm like, wow, it's actually responding to me and doing exactly what I want it to do. And what I teach, this is actually called a directional force. And you know, based on the power of the curve, the line um, implies how much applied force is on it. So this one would have, obviously, more applied force on it than the prior. Um, and again, you can see then how come the line is so important. Because the exact curvature of the line, the amount of pressure, for instance, that I'm, I'm pushing into the curvature of the line, all those things in um, the theory that I teach mean something. So it's that important to me to have found mischief mm -hmm. that's doing exactly what I want it to do you know, within the line work. Um, I also grabbed a couple of other things here to show you. So you can see here, um, here's some drawings I brought. Uh, this is first one on the left-hand side. Uh, shows, uh, this is probably about a minute and a half, a two-minute drawing, and it shows uh, force moving through the figure uh, rhythmically. 
You know, so you'll have, for instance, this motion here or this directional force in the forearm that moves its way all the way up the arm into the shoulder and back and so on. There's like basically a, a path, right? The goal is to find a pathway through the figure of dynamism or force uh, to make sure that it's uh, staying alive and all of that works relative to uh, gravity. Uh, and then this drawing over here in the center is probably more like a two and a half to three minute drawing. It's a little bit more mass and you can see again the importance of the line. Uh, and these lines, for instance, on the back are also not only showing force but form at the same time. So we're trying to describe surface and a direction that force is moving in, you know, in an over surface. Uh, and then as we go to the right here, you'll see that these take more and more time. So here's a great example of what Chris and I just spoke about with zooming in or out also. Uh, what's great here is, you know, I can start really fluid with these broader strokes, which you can see like right here on the leg, for instance, you know, like clarify this. Uh, you can see this like light gray stroke of fluidity and then I can get tighter in time if I want and zoom in or out right as much as I want to really um, tighten up uh, anatomy for instance. Uh, and then last but not least is a couple of other ones over here. Uh, again these are all probably like anywhere between two and five minutes. Uh, and then some stuff you guys don't see me do that often. Um, it's more of the character um, design work is just playing with different faces and shapes. And again, I, you know, what I love is the way the brush has been designed. This like pencil-like brush already looks like pencil also, <laughs> which is really great. It's like I don't have to create or design a special brush to make it do that. It already came with the package. Uh, and then here's like a face rendering that I did that I really had fun with. And again, I don't typically render, but because I had so much control over the um, you know, the process. Uh, I, was, I actually had a great time, uh, you know, doing this guy here in the middle. And then some really fast uh, faces that I just sketched up. Um, again, more uh, shape-based. Uh, you know, so I, I like, for me, I like working off of rectangles and then sort of building proportion and such within it. Uh, this way things can get really crazy really fast <laughs> instead of real. Uh, so that, you know, and these were using layers in Mischief, so let, Mischief does come with layers. So I can go the, that digital path of um, you know, drawing, for instance, a rough line if I wanted to, then inking it. The sort of ink brush in here is really great, and I'll show you more of that in a second. And then basically doing another color layer. Uh, so you know, again, you do have uh, layer opportunity. And last but not least, there's some, um, here's some figures, you know, more of like a flat comic book kind of color. And then this big green guy this here. This awesome green guy. Thank you. That's for my son. <laughs> awesome green guy's for my son. That's right. <laughs> And then some kooky last minute stuff over here, like this crazy guy with his face and uh, these other little figures. So one last piece I just wanted to show everyone out there. If I go to um, this tool, which works like a brush, um, just to show you the infinite uh, canvas idea, you can see these lines here, right? But I can keep zooming in on this and there's no like degradation whatsoever, which is amazing, right? Like I can just keep going in and in and in and you know, I can add lines on top of this and, you know, pull all the way out. And you can see just how well everything holds up. So if I go all the way out, you know, just for the heck of it, you can see what I prepped for today, right? Like, there it is. So it's just awesome. A mind map. Yeah, it's, it's like a visual mind map, right? So, you know, you're getting sort of the meta uh, version, the, you know, broad brush stroke, all the way to being able to zoom into, like, one drawing on one line, you know, like those ink lines that we just talked about, you know? So anyway. That's all the things that make it awesome. That's where yeah. I, we think a lot of the magic is, Sarah. Yeah. That's one of the things that we definitely want to explore further uh, because I think Mischief has a really great future. Well, seeing you draw like this is, you know, it's the reason we did it. So it's yeah. really, really wonderful. Thanks again. <laughs> uh, maybe we could check on what our other artists have been doing uh, before we Do the swap it back to Bex. <clears throat> Sitting busy bees over there. Drawing, drawing. That lady actually has a body now. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's really cool. It goes to say, right? The tool, the tools are empty shells, and it's the talent of, exactly. of the creators that, that exactly. bring it to life. Exactly. No, they're absolutely gorgeous. And Mike, I did swear in our rehearsal, and I promised yeah, I wouldn't you would again. swear. <laughs> no, I've not sworn yet. <laughs> And for those people who have... What did you have... say? I don't remember. Because <laughs> <laughs> for people who know me, and if you meet me out on the road, I'm like a sailor, so it's miraculous. <laughs> it's miraculous it hasn't happened yet. Um, but they're just, they're gorgeous. 
They're mm. absolutely gorgeous. And um, just, just, I mean, watching, watching what I've seen today, it's just, it's been beautiful. It's been, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's great. Thank it's you. incredible. Well done, Sarah. It's yeah. just gorgeous. And the response we're getting from the outside world is pretty epic, actually. Um, Tell us more. <laughs> so we love epic. We, yeah, we've got. I mean, we've nice. got people viewing from everywhere, and actually, the numbers that are in front of me were taken at the beginning, and, and they're going up as we. So it's it's in, it's incredible. We've got people from everywhere. Um, all over Europe. We've got someone in New Zealand, which I think, yeah, it's it's a kind of acceptable time of the day. It's about 6.30 a.m. maybe. Wow. Well done. Wow. Well done. <laughs> yeah. Um, there's some people, though, that are watching in Asia, and you really should be asleep. <laughs> um, but we're really pleased you joined us. Um, US, Canada, all over LATAM, all over Europe. It's... It's gorgeous. A couple of places, I must have to admit, I did have to Google because I was just like, where are you? <laughs> so we have had some questions come in. Um, and I might need to get um, President of Mischief in and I might have to sit on the floor to do this if there's space or stand up or perch or we'll make this work somehow. Maybe, actually, you sit there and I'm just going to grab a chair. Thank you, Lucia. Right, okay. So, some of the questions that have come in are, um, will my activation key still work with the new version of Mischief? Who I can answer that? that? <laughs> uh, we consider this a full version, but we're treating it as an update for all the customers that supported Sarah at the beginning. So, the existing activation codes will completely work. If it's already installed on the same machine and you do the install of Mischief 2, it's just going to work. You can use your activation code to install it. The only exception to this is the Mac App Store version. That's an exclusive version that isn't transferable, so that's the one exception. Okay. Okay. I hope that answered one of your questions. Um, will Mischief hook up with Flix? Mm. Who wants to get that one? I'll take that one. So uh, we, we have. Uh, yeah. oh, thank we can you. Pass it backwards and forwards. We have ambitions to uh, to make sure that we take this amazing tech and connect it with a lot of the other Foundry products. And uh, I'll flex his logical choice just because, from a storyboarding okay. standpoint, you know, uh, it it's uh, it's a great fit. That's a really beautiful child, right? A very beautiful child. It's great for boarding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you as an art. I mean, mm -hmm. how would that? Sounds like something yeah, exciting yeah. to I you. I think that's that's like a no-brainer when it comes to production. Yeah. Would be storyboarding in here. Okay, research yeah. team, listen. <laughs> 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 Not research team, tech fix team. Yeah. Okay. Um, will there be an iPad version with stylus support? I'm excited about the wonderful new tool. So are we. So the question is, will there be um, an iPad version with stylus support? Who wants to get that? We are actively <laughs> investigating <laughs> cross-platform support of Mischief. It's something we think is really cool and exciting of what's happened. Mm -hmm. um, you know, people being able to mm -hmm. you know, use the things that they carry with them you know, everywhere as a creative tool. Um, you know, the day of the tricorder has come, so uh, mm -hmm. we'd be crazy to say, mm, I'm not interested. <laughs> We're interested. Yeah. yeah. Watch that space. Watch it. this space, Lots right? Of, yeah. yeah. Can we expect to see some of this new tech go into other products like Nuke and Modo? Who wants to get that? President uh, of Mischief? President of Mischief. <laughs> so uh, I'll put on my chief sales marketing officer hat on now. Uh, but uh, yeah, we're, we're going to be looking to incorporate the tech into other Foundry products. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a logical fit um, in, in multiple products. So we're absolutely looking to leverage it. OK, brilliant. Um, any plans for Mischief Android app in the near future? Related to the iOS one. OK, OK. Um, can you import Photoshop, ugh, can't speak, Photoshop or Illustrator files into Mischief? So this is one question. And can you import Photoshop files into Mischief and then draw over them using the layer feature? Who wants to get that? I think you should get that. That's uh, <laughs> no, usually the hard one. Two no, questions it's interesting there, because so you, the tech is so important right, to yeah. how the magic works. So. so first of all, you can export 
to Photoshop. Okay. Um, and so you can export layers to Photoshop. You can export to, to PNG with a transparent background. Um, in terms of importing layered Photoshop files, we don't have an uh, automated way to do that. You would have to actually import each layer as an image, but you can do that if that's really important to you. Um, and I guess we could probably figure out a way to do that if that was... I mean, anything is possible. <laughs> anything is possible. <laughs> but I think the... the, the that's, my te that's my science. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yes, well, it is. It is. Look what we just she, did with Shilei. You know, scientist. it's amazing. <laughs> so, is that, did I answer all the questions? I think oh, so. Yeah. So it was importing Photoshop or Illustrator. Oh, Illustrator. Files. That's yeah, another Illustrator. interesting question. Yeah. So, uh, so, although Mischief is a mathematical representation which allows you to scale it, um, it's not a traditional vector based. So the, the traditional vectors used in Illustrator actually have, can represent less than, than this new representation. So that if we took an Illustrator file and moved it into Mischief, um, we'd have to, yeah, I just. Sounds complicated. It's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. it's, not, it's not our, our first focus right now, but um, so we, we're not doing it right away. Right now. Let's say that. Right now. Okay. Okay. That's lovely. I think that answers it. Um, are there specific settings with Wacom products? Mm -hmm. The nice thing about this update, and you saw um, Mike uh, and, and some of the other artists doing it, is we, we support multi-touch in this release. Mm. So definitely being able to throw down sketches and ideas and and fly around your mm. infinite canvas mm -hmm. is so much more natural being yeah. able to support that feature. Um, the brushes have always been tuned uh, to be really, really, really um, high performance with the, the pressure that we get from a Wacom tablet. Mm -hmm. And people know that from the, the Mischief One. Mm -hmm. So we definitely maintain that. Um, but yeah, I mean, in terms of a, a drawing experience, I, mean, I think that it's a, a perfect marriage between hardware and software. But just to, to comment, Wacom's been really supportive of us through oh, this yeah. whole process mm -hmm. uh, from a development engineering standpoint and then providing all this amazing kit for the event. So thank you so much uh, for Wacom and your support. Definitely. And, yeah. then, uh, and then on the Apple side, uh, Apple's just been awesome. And as you probably saw Carly working uh, on the, the iMac 5K Retina display. And um, you know we installed it uh, today, and it looks it's so gorgeous. beautiful. It it's gorgeous. just amazing. Yeah. Just an amazing, amazing uh, machine and amazing display. And it looks just looks great with the retina display. Just awesome. So there's a ton of people asking this. Any chance for a flip book feature in the future? <laughs> Sarah, you're smiling. That's one of my dreams. <laughs> I've, I've, that's one of the things I'd love to, to do. And, and you know, one of the things that was really hard about trying to do this on my own is that there was just no way I could get to these kind of things. No, so of I'm really not. excited to yeah. be here yeah. and be part of a bigger team and, yeah. and hopefully we'll be able to do exciting things like that in the awesome. future. Awesome, awesome. Um, that would be great. How does Mischief play with vectors? Is this a pixel-based tool exclusively? So that's, uh, yes. This, so again, we have these hard science questions. So it's not a pixel-based tool. Show. It's it's it, but it's not a traditional vector. So we do have a mathematical representation of the stroke, and that's why it's scalable. Mm -hmm. um, but it's not the same as a traditional vector. So it's it's kind of a little bit of both worlds. Okay. So okay. It's magic. Magic <laughs> is a magic it's mischievous world. <laughs> um, are you going to add? Um, symmetry soon and some basic shapes. Mm. Yeah, we think there's um there's a lot of really really um, interesting product uh, productivity tools yeah. that we can add that are going to make uh, it even more of a you know immersive kind of drawing experience. Yeah. And and um, yeah, we're going to play this really interesting game of finding out what keeps it mischief. mischief. Yes. And. One of the, the, the ideals that I, uh, that I subscribe to as well, that Sarah and I talk to, is about we really want to keep it simple. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah. So how do you keep it simple and really easy to yeah. use, but at the same time add all the features that yeah. people want? And that's of one of the things we're really going to be struggling with. Yeah. So. Yeah. so your input's welcome. Yes, of course. Absolutely. Of course. So I wanted to, oh, hang on. There's another one that's just jumped in. Uh, Right, everything has a question mark after it. Uh, 
Multiply, question mark. Screen, question mark. <laughs> Overlay, question mark. When, question mark. Any. <laughs> they are blending modes. <laughs> Okay, so there's been absolutely tons of excitement. You know, someone's saying he's um, got to buy an uh, a bigger iPad now. Um, loads of people just saying how amazing it was. Um, someone saying, how did I miss this on the drawing software landscape? It's a terrific tool. Awesome. Um, yeah, I'm really impressed with the quality of the tools and, of course, the artists doing the demos. Well done. Tools look great. Um, loads, of, yeah, loads. Like done. Yeah, I know she's almost. Done. It's crazy. Like she's actually now there's built. Like there's world. a how. There's a, a whole, whole world. world. <laughs> she was ahead. She was ahead a short while ago. Now she's like totally got a yeah, house. 30, 30 minutes ago, we had a head. <laughs> all kinds of stuff. Like she's, she's aged. Ashley, I know, right? She's built a house. She's married. She's in a children. forest. Ash almost dropped his camera. <laughs> <laughs> like, good for this year. She has two dogs. That is really, really amazing. Really, really amazing. No, the buzz, the buzz is just really, 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 people are very excited about this, very excited also about the union um, between the two. So that's, that's a good thing, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, well, we've, um, we've gone on. So um, <laughs> keep your questions coming because um, I know where these people live. <laughs> I can get questions to them. Um, and if you are watching this on the record, you know, and you've got questions as well, you can use the hashtag TF News um, and we can get questions to people um, for you. So as we wrap up, I just want to say I want a big round of applause for our artists, Carly, DC and Mike. <laughs> you guys have been awesome today they've been busy busy bees we had a press thing as well today so they've been really really great sarah yes sorry not at all i was about to say that it's it's really because of the the customers yeah. mm, that, that we're doing we've been able to do this and yes. i think one of the things that's really cool that's not a product feature is that we also launched a, a brand new website. We did, and I will tell the peoples about that, but and, yeah, and you can tell them, tell well, them. What I was gonna ask is all of the Mischief fans out there, um, we, we responded to a request to have the ability to share mm -hmm. artwork so that people can have discussions. Yeah. So um, we have phase one of that. We, we have uh, the ability for you guys to make an account and upload some samples so that you guys can start chatting and be giving each other uh, advice so I would love to see um, you know you plus new users mm -hmm. join us uh, at www.madewithmischief.com. That's the one. <laughs> That's the one. And also wanted to thank um, the, you know the whole mischief team. Um, we've got uh, mm. you know Simon and Judy. They've been killing themselves in Shanghai. We've got here locally uh, Semi and Steven and Amelia all working really hard and Daniel on the web team. It just uh, everyone's been yeah, uh, really pushing, busy. like working yeah. 24 hours a clock for, for for months on end. So mm -hmm. thanks for everybody. For, uh, for, for making this all happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So congratulations, guys. This is, it's, it's, uh, lovely, absolutely lovely. I also want to say a shout out and a thank you to our lovely friends at Wacom for the Cintiqs and also our lovely friends at Apple for that gorgeous 5K display retina over there. I want me one. <laughs> I really do. Um, so... I think that's all for tonight. Um, thank you for joining us wherever you are. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day if you're going off to your Friday now. And for those of you in Europe, good night. Have a lovely evening. And those of you in the Americas, good afternoon, good evening. Have a lovely evening and afternoon wherever you are. We will be doing some more event broadcasty stuff later on this month, so keep your eyes peeled on the events website, went events bit of the website. So thank you again for joining us and good night. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night.